what we should do next. Yes, let us let us Fane go to Big like Map to Land. Fane would like to speak with us. Okay. Mm -hmm. In that We're case, quest. <laughs> most likely. Wait, wait. Let's let's bet on on what what he's gonna ask us to do. Like, are, do we have to kill somebody important? <laughs> Or like find his family member, or, I don't or help know. him transport a, a rare object. It might have something to do with his mysterious illness, oh, which isn't oh, actually yeah. that mysterious. Yeah. Find uh, a super special doctor to help his mysterious illness. I don't okay. know about no. that. He seems to have already given up on surviving. Yeah, that's that's true. It'd be weird if we like suddenly got a, a message out of the blue that like. They found something for that. Well, let's just see. Let's see what he's got to say. Shepherd. I like guessing. I'm in the holiday spirit. The holiday spirit of guess what's in this mystery box. Cool shades. Is there something wrong? <laughs> yes. Now that you are here, though, uh, it seems more difficult to talk about. Is it your illness? Oh, no. I could get the doctor. No, no. Though I suppose that is a part of it. Nice, uh, has me face piercings. Dwelling on things. That's super cool. I had a family once. I still have a son. Ooh. His name's Whoa! Cody. That was one of my guesses, wasn't time. it? Yes, it was. Did something happen to them? I abandoned them. Oh, well, not all at once. Nothing dramatic. No sneaking out in the middle of the night. No final argument or slammed door. I just did my job. I hunted and killed across the galaxy. Away on business, my wife would tell people. I was always away on business. How long's it been since you talked? Ten years. He showed me some of his schoolwork and asked if we could dance crazy. We did that when he was younger. Aww. What sort of dance is that? It's... I checked my extranet contacts. I expect an update on my next target. The console plays music. Oh, unfashionable. Kolyak jumps into the room. Father runs around in circles. I scoop him up, toss him into the air. He shrieks, laughs, spin me. What's this I about? I put him uh, down. It's, it's, it's an alien dad room. joke. Father, he pleads, tucks my sleeve. I need to read this, I say. I don't look at him. Hmm. Okay. You never mentioned this before. Why now? When my wife departed from her body, I attended to that issue. I left Kolyat in the care of his aunts and uncles. I have not seen him or talked to him since. If we're talking about this, he must have contacted you. No, he didn't. But my condition... I've been judging my life, measuring what I've added and what I've taken away. I used my contacts to trace Kolyat. He has become disconnected. He does what his body wills. You'll have to explain that one to me. Disconnected. The body is not our true self. The soul is. Body and soul work as one in a whole person. When the soul is weakened by despair or fear, when the body is ill or injured, the individual is disconnected. No longer whole. What's wrong with him? Is he hurt? Something happened that should not have. He knows where I've been, what I've done. I don't know his reasons, but he has gone to the Citadel. He's taken a job as a hitman. Aww. I would like your help to stop him. He is... This is not a path he should walk. You don't hire a raw rookie for a contract killing. I'm afraid someone may have seen we share a name and assumed we share skills. I don't know why he would accept the task. To be closer to you, maybe? That thought haunts me more than any other. Mm. What made him go to the Citadel? Years ago, I prepared a package for him. A relic of my ill-spent life. I had Volus Bankers store it and arranged for delivery when I died. He acquired it early. I don't really know how. I did wet work on the Citadel around the time his mother died. That may be why he went there. Well, all right, green friend. I'll get us to the Citadel as soon as possible. Thank you, Shepard. I'll be meditating until you need me. Yeah, you go and... Meditate. Do that. Yeah. Sad dad jokes. That's too bad. 
It would have been a better world if there were dad jokes by Thane Krios. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's also check up on Samara, who also looks like she's meditating. Or doing something with a blue energy biotic ball. They should be friends. They should. I am glad I joined your team. It has been too long since I traveled with companions. When the time comes, I will do whatever is necessary. Cool. You're an important part of this crew, Samara. It is my honor. Also, there is a matter I need to discuss. When we met on Ilium, I told you about a very dangerous person I was pursuing. Using the information you obtained, I have located her. She's been going by the name Morinth. I would like to apprehend her before she disappears again. Where is she? Omega. A nightclub called Afterlife, which seems a perfect place for her to hunt. Oh before. yeah, let's do this one. We can go back and see Arya. Yeah. Tell me about her. She is an Ardot Yakshi. It is a term from a dead Asari dialect. It means demon of the night winds, but that is mythology. She is simply a very dangerous woman who kills without mercy. <laughs> Sounds like you. <laughs> Ooh, how seductive. Come on. <laughs> You're dangerous too. As are you. But she is different. Morin suffers a rare genetic disorder. When she mates with you, there is no gentle melding of nervous systems. She overpowers yours, burns it out, hemorrhages your brain. You end up a mindless shell, and soon after, you are dead. Well, so much for tapping that. <laughs> Why isn't this ever mentioned in Asari literature or art? When we were primitive, there was much fascination with Ardot Yakshi. Some cultures worshipped them as gods of destruction. Now the Asari have a place in the galaxy, and they don't wish this defect to be widely known. As far as I know, only three exist today. Two chose a life of seclusion. The third ran. Morinth. She ran, and I am sworn to kill her. I don't know that I blame her for running. When she fled, she proved her addiction. She was not taking a great moral stand. She simply wants to keep killing. She is a tragic figure, but not a sympathetic one. So you hunt down these Asari just because they're born with a genetic condition? It manifests with maturity. When one is diagnosed, she is offered the chance to live in seclusion and comfort. If she refuses, it shows her addiction to the ecstasy she gets from killing her mates. There is no redemption for such a person. Hmm. This is definitely worthy mm. of your full attention. She confuses her victims, twists their feelings. They will do anything for her favor. All right. We need to stop her. Thank you, Commander. There are no words to express what this means to me. There is one thing more. This creature, this monster. She is my daughter. We knew that already from the um, yeah, yeah, we did. <laughs> files. But isn't that... isn't that something? You said this is genetic. Yeah. How many children do you have? Three. And three Ardat Yakshi are in existence today. It is as it sounds. Marinth was always the wild one. She was happy and free. But selfish. It can't be easy to talk about. My daughter's condition is my fault. And my redemption lies in killing her. Oh, is it your Do not fault? pity me. Simply understand my situation. How did all this happen? I spent my youth on the move, adventuring. I killed people, mated with them, or just danced the night away. I learned so much, experienced so much, and then my matron days came. I could finally sit back, bask, and enjoy my family. But in one moment, it was all taken away. Sounds terrible. I sat in a med lab while a nearsighted doctor droned at me, and I learned that nothing was as I thought it would be. I gave up all that I possessed. I own nothing, claim nothing. All my knowledge will die with me. Now my purpose is to destroy my own children. That is like the worst sentence I've ever heard. <laughs> that is. That really sucks. 
My goodness. I mean, it feels weird to say I understand, because I don't really, but whatever. Those moments change you, and I've hundreds of years left to live with that. I say too much. Forgive me. Help me find my long-lost daughter. And kill her. We'll go find Morinth. Alright then. That's some heavy shit. Alright, now let's go do something. Look at all this stuff we can do. There are so many things. But there's one thing I'd like to do first. Is it the roof? Let's go to Haystrom and find Aquaria. Alright, so let's land. So, let's take uh, Jacob and Kasumi, because we haven't taken either of them in quite a while. Okay. Buggy! That's a pretty cute bug. Aww. Love that. Awesome. The planet where everyone is a vampire. I like this music. Radiation's messing with my shields. I'm wearing black. Can we get in the shade, please? Just follow me. It really is. It really is the planet where everybody becomes a vampire. Temporarily. We haven't actually we haven't seen any Geth for a long time, have we? Yeah. I want to say that that's going to be refreshing, but if there's Geth, there 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 might be husks, and I'm I'm not feeling it. They don't have those magic husk spikes, though. Oh, mm, true. Uh-huh. 